just come into this section of the bank. I want to show you what's going on here, why there's a bite happening. Hopefully it can help you guys when you're out on the water next to get your timing right. Now we can't always get the timing perfect, but this section here just shows you exactly what's going on. There's a weed edge here that I hope you can pick up. It's running along the edge here. And that's what I'm fishing along the edge of now. The flathead have sat in here and as this water's receding out over these weeds and they're starting to become exposed, the bait's coming out of there and they're coming down onto this little muddy edge and the flathead are here feeding. There's another bite time though that happens earlier in the tide, right up where those pneumatophore roots from the mangroves are. When that's covered, that's where the bait sits then as well. And as the tide recedes, the first receding tide off those uh, off those root systems, the flathead, if there's a section in behind them where there's an edge or a little cut edge, there's often like a little eroded edge off the mangroves where they, the mangroves sort of finish holding the bank together and then there's a drop off. They love to get on those little drop offs as well. So that's what I've been doing just the last sort of 20 minutes. There's about another, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes on this weed edge again. So I'm gonna get out, see if we can get a few more fish and um, hopefully that can help you guys if you're out chasing flathead on these edges and fishing these banks. If you can get your timing right, boy, there's a lot of flathead that line up for feeding time. Those little bait patterns are the way to go as well, I reckon. Let's get back into it. Yep, oh, just got belted. Right on this little drop off here. Great little take too. Must have come right off the bottom and grabbed that. Yep, got it. There we go. Well, I don't know if that was the same fish because the first one, there was a fair bit of weight on the pool there. The first one. I'll show you what I'm using. These little Sicarios, they're a four inch, 100 mil Sicario plastic, beautiful paddle tail on the back. I'll give you a closer look. I'll get this one off. I think we're gonna get a couple of fish this up. There we go, buddy, have a look at this. Take a look at that. And I'll talk to you about their profile in a second. I wanna get a couple more fish on the board, but these things are pretty impressive. Better fish too, a little bit better fish. All right, that'll do. Great fun, I'm fishing a run out tide here. You might be able to see there's an edge. There's an edge along here and it drops off to about a meter of water. And these flatties, they are loving this Sicario. Have a look at that. Now it's a beautiful little mullet profile. But the special thing about these, if you take a look at that, hopefully you can pick that up. It's got like a teardrop profile if you look at it front on, and that gives it a great wobble in the water with that little tail there. So that shaped tail helps to roll a plastic, and with that teardrop profile, it means that the plastic rolls side to side. Something like this that's got a really busy little action is just perfect for them. So all I'm doing, I'm fishing along this edge here and the tide's receding, which for me is a perfect time to run bait fish profiles like mullet or little garfish profiles along the flats because that's the bait that's moving. When the tide's receding, everything's coming off the flats. It's the fish that are moving a lot. You know, sometimes on a tide, on a slack tide at the end, I love to use those shrimp profiles and things that don't have as much action. But when the tide's running out, the 
flat out are used to kicking mullet. And I can feel this action through the rod. I should give you a good look at this lure with the action up close. I'll see if I can overlay some footage here of this Sicario and the way that it works because you can feel it right the way through the rod. It, it feels almost like a little diving minnow with a bib. That's how much action this thing has on that roll and the kick and the thump of that tail. They're, they're just fantastic. So that last sort of third of the run out tide, these little paddle tail plastics are prime for flathead. I think they've, they've kind of been designed with Barra in mind. They're a Australian designed plastic, Irukandji, come from up north. The designers are up north, I think maybe in the Northern Territory of Australia. And uh, that body roll is synonymous with Barra. They love that body roll on the lure. And these Sicarios, they come in these bigger sizes as well. But I think are just perfect for that Barra fishing. Let's see if I can show you, have a look at this. You'll get a better look at the profile like this. So there's a perch colour. The colours that they've got are just brilliant. That's like a little red fin or a perch. Maybe you can see that there, that profile, as it sits there. Beautiful little lateral line and the fin structure. Big eye at the front that's stuck on there. And then that paddling tail there. Okay, so they've got a little belly slit in there. If you want to run them weedless, you can sit your little... EWG through there and run it weedless, but I'm just running it with a little quarter ounce jig head Probably could get a little bit more hook exposure with the jig head that I'm using, but I'm just running with a little 3.0 Give you a look at it Little 3.0 TT you can see there that the oh the hook exposure is not too bad but There's a lot of bait behind that without a hook in it Anyway the way that these flathead grab it on this run out tide when the bite's on and you feel that thump, they're, they're crazy for it, eh? And so they'll come up and inhale the whole thing, no problems. Anyway, I reckon there's a few more in this. We'll keep it going. Again. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> he came out of a little pocket too. There's a little deeper pocket in there. And I could see some mullet flickering in there. It's just such a tell. He's pulled my plastic down. Cheeky little bugger. I can see mullet in there. It's sort of scooting around as this tide's draining. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, there's a tick, got it. There's a fish. You beauty. That's a nice one too. You can see him out there. There we go. Oh, he grabbed that with a bit of aggression. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the Sicario plastic. And if you're after a feed of flathead, these are all pretty close to that legal size. Great little pan size flathead. And um, just keep it in touch with the bottom. They love them, these things. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see some giant flathead, check out this video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.